as the largest country in East Africa, Tanzania has a lot to offer to visitors. It is best known for its expansive areas of wilderness and amazing wildlife, making it an ideal place to go on a safari. Some spots like Mount Kirimanjaro and Serengeti National Park are world famous. However, some of the lesser known destinations including conservation areas, lakes and mountains are certainly still worth a visit. Here is a look at the best places to visit in Tanzania. Number 10. Mount Meru The tallest peak in Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro, gets plenty of attention. But very few people even recognize the second tallest mountain in the country, Mount Meru. In northern part of Tanzania, close to the Kenyan border, you will find Mount Meru. As part of Arusha National Park, it is an area teeming with wildlife. If climbing Mount Kilimanjaro is perhaps too challenging, then trekking up Mount Meru can be an alternative. It will still be a serious challenge, but it is an incredible experience. You will hike along craters and be treated to breathtaking views from the top of the mountain. Number 9. Mikumi National Park Mikumi National Park is part of the so-called Southern Circuit, a collection of famed attractions in the southern part of Tanzania. Most of the park features flat grasslands, which makes it easy to spot approaching animals in the distance. This is primarily a safari destination, and you will need to be in an approved vehicle in order to explore the park. One of the most interesting animals you will spot at Mukumi National Park is the midget elephants, which have very thin and short tusks. This makes them very less desirable to poachers, and there is some debate over whether their smaller tusks are an evolutionary disadvantage. Number 8. Lake Nitron Lake Nitron is one of the most incredible attractions in the world. Because of its high pH levels, chemical makeup, and heavy evaporation, the waters of Lake Nitron look dark red in color. Since it is made up of very saline water, and the water temperature is what, there aren't a lot of animals in and around Lake Nitron. When birds accidentally crash or land in the lake, they can die and their corpses calcify rather than decompose. But one species actually makes life among all the death, lesser flamingos. Once every three or four years, when conditions are right, the lake is covered with the pink beds as they stop here to breed. Number 7. Arusha National Park If you are planning a visit to Mount Meru, don't miss the park where it is located, Arusha National Park. Although the mountain is certainly a major attraction, there is a lot more to see and explore in the park. While many national parks in Tanzania are really only for safaris, Arusha is a prime spot for outdoor recreation. You can go hiking or climbing, and you can even set off on a canoe trip to explore the scenery with a new perspective. If you want to combine exercise and wildlife, Arusha National Park is one of the best places to go on a walking safari. Number 6. Lake Manyara When many people picture the national parks of Tanzania, they think of vast savannas. However, the Lake Manyara National Park offers a very different picture altogether. As the name suggests, the lake itself is a highlight. Lake Manyara makes up more than one third of the park although it fluctuates in size during the dry season. Because it is a major source of water, the lake is a prime spot for watching animals. During the dry season, which stretches from June to September, countless animals flock to the lake to drink water. That means you'll be able to spot these magnificent creatures easily on a day so far. Number 4. Stone Town off the coast of Tanzania is the island of Zanzibar, whose main city is known as Stone Town. In Stone Town, you will experience a completely different side of Tanzania. Stone Town is a melting pot of Swahili, Arab, and Persian cultures. Many of the town's buildings were constructed during the 19th century when Zanzibar was a major trading center and at the height of its power. The trade created wealth which in turn led to construction of palaces, mosques, and many fine houses. 
on your visit you check out the 17th century fortress as well as many architectural gems hidden along the maze of narrow streets that wind through stone town number three mount kilimanjaro near the border with kenya the inactive stratovolcano of the mount kilimanjaro looms above the surroundings as the highest freestanding mountain in the world and the tallest peak in Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro is a popular place to visit in Tanzania for adrenaline junkies and world-class climbers. Surrounding the peak is Kilimanjaro National Park. This includes forests, highlands, plateaus and a few smaller peaks as well. There are seven sanctioned routes to the top of the mountain and they range in a business and a difficulty. Keep in mind that many visitors only climb part of the way up the mountain. Even a few hours of hiking can result in a spectacular views over the park below. Number 2. Ngorongoro Conservation Area Another amazing spot to view wildlife in Tanzania is the Ngorongoro Conservation Area. Its dominant feature is the geological marvel known as the Ngorongoro Crater the world's largest intact volcano caldera. Within the crater, you will find the highest density of lions in the entire world. The area is also known for having lots of black rhino. Leopards, hyenas, and cheetahs are also commonly spotted within the conservation area. Once again, it is best to set off on a guided safari through the Ngorongoro conservation area. Number 1. Serengeti National Park On the border with Kenya is Serengeti National Park. On the Kenyan side, the park is known as the Maasai Mara. This enormous Eastern African conservation area is one of the world's most popular places to go on a safari. It is known for being home to mass animal migration, including over 1 million wildebeest that migrate through the park depending on the rain season. The park is also home to more than 2,500 lions, making it one of the best spots in the world to see them in person. Guided safaris and overnight stays in the lodges and cabins are the ideal way to explore the park. Okay, that was it guys for today. Thank you so much for watching our video. Thank you so much for going this far. Please continue to give us the thumbs up and also leave us a comment down below. And if you have some places that you want us to cover, please just drop it in the comment box and we will make sure that we will do so for you. Please continue to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and also share our videos with your friends and relatives. See you in the next one. Signing out is the ultimate survivor. Thank you guys.